of these thugs that came along. These people call them protesters. Isn't it beautiful? It's so beautiful. No, they're so wonderful. They call them the Boston Tea Party. That's so wonderful. Yeah, they call them. You ever watch uh, fake news CNN? You ever watch where they go? How about the CNN anchor? How about the CNN anchor? You know, did a little shave job in the head, which is fine. And he's standing in front of a building saying things are very peaceful here. Very, and the building is, it looks like the biggest fire I've ever seen. The whole town is burning. It look, it's like the biggest fire. And he said, things are very good here, Anderson. I think it's good. I think it's good. He's a wonderful people, Anderson. You ever see that? Looked like the world was coming to an end. And you know, we did something in Minneapolis. After watching for three or four days, I called. I said, you got to get out. You can't protect yourselves. I got them to take 8,000 National Guardsmen. And in one hour, it all ended. And they rode through the next three weeks with no problem. And we did the same thing in other cities. But how about Seattle? Isn't that great? So they take over a big chunk of a city called Seattle. I mean, we're not talking about some little place. We're talking about Seattle. Have you ever been to Seattle? They took over a big chunk. And the governor, who's radical left, all of these places I talk about, are Democrat. You know that. Every one of them. Every one of them. And I have an offer out. I said, anytime you want, we'll come in, we'll straighten it out in one hour or less. Now, I may be wrong, but it's probably better for us to just watch that disaster. I flew in with some of our great congressmen who we're going to introduce in a second, and I said to him, Congressman, what do you think? I can straighten it out fast? Should we just go in? No, sir. Let it simmer for a little while. Let people see what radical left Democrats will do to our country. But Americans have watched left-wing radicals burn down buildings, loot businesses, destroy private property, injure hundreds of dedicated police officers. These police officers, they get injured. They don't complain. They're incredible. And injure thousands upon thousands of people only to hear the radical fake news say what a beautiful rally it was. And they never talk about COVID. They don't talk about when you see 25,000 people walking down Fifth Avenue or walking down a street of a Democrat-run city. You never hear them saying, they're not wearing their mask. You don't hear this.